What's up guys, it is Sam here. Just wanted to make a quick video about Elizabeth Warren. So if you want to watch that, then stay tuned. If this is your first time here, what's good? My name is Sam and if anybody's watching this or watching my videos for a second time, they had better be pressing that like button. Okay, let's get into it. Elizabeth Warren here. Uh, I saw this piece of content coming out and I've also noticed that through these rankings I've been doing, by the way, if you want to check out any of the rankings I've been doing, go back to the channel, check those out. But the rankings that I've been doing, Elizabeth Warren seems to be gaining more relevance and awareness in the U.S. And I didn't, I didn't, I don't really pay attention to what they say um, in terms of the candidates, uh, but I do. Uh, see that what's happening around like what America thinks because that's more interesting to me, right? So I see her gaining in popularity um, Over the past I don't know two ish weeks or so three weeks and And then this video comes out here. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this video. This is not my video um, This is Elizabeth Warren's just I'm not trying to rip this shit off. All right, let's turn down the All right, listen to this Okay, I think you can get the gist of that, what just took place, and um, this is some real guerrilla stuff. This is, um, this is the, like, scaling the unscalable. This is what needs to take place all the time. This is what I try to do for people on Instagram, where... A comment or some but somebody will message me and I will respond with a, a video message back to them because I think that is more meaningful and thoughtful um, across the board and or a voice message back other than just text because I think that is more meaningful and impactful and I want to continue to build all these relationships so the best way to build that momentum from the foundation is doing something exactly what she is doing. Um, Elizabeth Warren is calling the individual. So some people might think it's not worth her time, right? Taking an hour to do that versus calling like a bunch of millionaires and getting a million bucks from it. But what she is doing is all these people are going to go tell their 10 friends about what just happened. You know, and then their 10 friends are going to tell some other people, right? And then those friends are going to tell some other more. And it's just going to disseminate in that community to a certain degree. And so if she's making 40 of these calls an hour and she does it for an hour a day, um, you can think about the impact that that's having um, in the area. Like not everybody's going to tell their friends and stuff, but probably a decent portion of them. Somebody from their television or the news that they've been hearing about is calling them and just said thank you for their donation. Like that's tremendously impactful for people who are willing to donate, right? Um, and like it shows a lot of appreciation. So I think this is a very, very smart move for Elizabeth Warren and any other candidates who are listening um, should also do something similar to this and they should be publishing it all, right? They should be filming every single time when somebody's calling so that or when just whoever it is is calling so that w that can be put out in little clips because golden moments are going to happen where, say, Elizabeth Warren is talking to somebody and that person happens to know somebody else who knows somebody else. And it's going to be a, a, a golden moment of captured on video that she can then share and amplify that golden moment across the Internet. So it is. Uh, a very intelligent move. I don't know if it was just this one video or if she's going to continue to put this content out there. But if she does continue to put this kind of content out there, she's going to really start to have um, a big impact because not only do you have that very, very foundational level of uh, awareness, right? Because they called an individual, that individual told five or 10, 15 of their friends who then, you know, a small portion of them told their friends. 
and that carried on for whatever, however long. And you have that all happening, but then you also have that interaction captured on film. Now that piece can be extracted and put on YouTube. It can be put on Facebook. It can be put on uh, um What's it called Instagram. You can use little bits of it and, and do memes for Facebook and and draw and use that little bit is tremendously valuable. Now putting it up all over like optimally, you can get 10x the impact that you got on that local just by having that call. It is insanely effective to do something like that. I don't know how far down the rabbit hole she is, but it is something that is extremely, extremely effective. And I would like to know what your thoughts are down below um, in the comment section. And if you want to um, get your questions answered live, make sure to use the hashtag Stolt at the beginning of your comment. And then at the end of the videos, I will go. I go through and I actually take a look at YouTube comments and answer slash respond to them uh, live at the end of all the videos. So if you want to put a comment or thought or something insightful down below, use the um, hashtag Stolt and uh, that way I can notice it. Let's get in here. Okay. So nobody's, nobody's using the hashtag. It's cool. It's not hurting my feelings at all. He said laid back, laid back entertainment. What's up, brother? And thank you for reaching out. Uh, but I answered that yesterday. So uh, let's take a look at this one here because it seems to be full of chatter, right? Uh, at least engaging for these two individuals. Uh, this is from Adam Wells. What's good, Adam Wells? Uh, hey, what song did you use, man? And you're looking real jacked and cut, man. Good stuff. I started my first RAD uh, 140 cycle today. Uh, RAD is a research compound. Um, I use uh, research compounds um, for research purposes. Um, and that is what he is uh, talking about. So um, uh, that's probably what this whole entire conversation is. And it's probably going to be a waste of some people's time if I actually go through and take a look at that. Um, again, this is I got a decent number of comments on these things. Uh, this is increased. This is from Maniac Mind trick um and this is in regards to milano tan 2 which is a peptide um and uh by the way if you want to check out these videos on these compounds like go back in my channel because i do uh, some very unique things they're not um very mainstream with a lot of the peptides and research compounds so if you want to check that shit out go back on the channel um uh let's see increased libido is one hell of a good side effect so when you have, when you take a, a drug or a compound or a peptide, um, you can have side effects, right? But immediately, I bet 90% of you thought it, side effect was negative, but you can also have positive side effects, right? So what this guy is referencing is there's a side effect from Milanotan 2. It's a peptide that you can actually um, increase your ability to get tan. Uh, it's like a tanning peptide. Um, and one of the side effects is um, like spontaneous uh, erections. So that's what he is uh, referencing and an increase in, um, in libido, um, similar to like a Viagra type of a, an effect. So that's what he's referencing. Anyways, uh, there was no topics on politics. So if you want something on politics, let it down below and use that hashtag and uh, jump over to Instagram and say, what's good? Peace the fuck out.